Hello, 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 and welcome back to Sim.bc where it is 11.51 and I've already been at the gym, I've already eaten, I've already done some homework and I've already figured out what to talk about today. Even though I had my, you know, I had some thoughts about it yesterday, you know, now that the project is done with the half season dimensions, the review has been done, what are we going to move into? Well, for one, keeping the definition, not country example, but some examples and then some personal experience going into this one. And today we're going to talk about greenwashing. That is right, because I have been discussing this in a sustainability course and I think that it's really fun. Not fun, but it's really interesting. Let's start off with what actually is greenwashing. Yet again, definition, so I'm gonna read right off here, right off me screen, you know. <clears throat> so it's a word for word, and this is from Invisipedia. So, what is greenwashing? Well, greenwashing is when a company, government, or other group promotes green-based environmental initiatives or images, but actually operates in a way that is damaging to the environment or in a opposite manner to the goal of the announced initiative. Now, what does this all mean? Well, to get into some examples, if you, for instance, say we're going to do something that is good for the environment. But it actually turns out it's not. Well, that was kind of obvious now, wasn't it? But going into some concrete examples. Well, I'm kind of realizing I'm going to mix and match my own my own personal experience with the with the examples because those are the only examples that I kind of have. So, what are we moving into? What are we seeing? Well, we're seeing that, in my opinion, something that we're going to take up in the end here. Probably the question we're going to leave at is that a perfect example of what is greenwashing is when you're writing a, a sustainability report which we've been looking into in class and you're seeing social corporate responsibility being marketed and being presented as social sustainability now that's a good question of is that actually an example of greenwashing or isn't just corporate social responsibility in the long run actually corporate sustainability and that's a very good point, and that's something I honestly don't quite don't know. But according to what I've learned, uh, and we're going to go through that, what I've learned, it's that corporate social responsibility shouldn't be in the sustainability report. If it's supposed to be in sustainability report, it should be in the long-term sense of the use of the word, in the use of the term, in the use of the concept not to sustain it. So it's not supposed to be just corporate social responsibility. Now, what am I talking about when I'm saying corporate social responsibility? There are lots of people who are viewing this in different ways. Corporate responsibility, corporate social, sorry, uh, responsibility, CSR for short, is sometimes about the society at large, the environment. What can the company do to work outside of their boundaries? That's also kind of what corporate social sustainability is. How can the company make sure that what they're doing is good for the environment? What are the what is the environment to define it? Well, the environment is both the social, the society, social society, economic and environmental perspective of the environment. And now I said I know I said environment and an environment as well, but the environment here is basically looking at all the perspectives, and the one of the perspective is the physical environment, like the the trees and stuff, and all the green lushy stuff that's also a part of the overarching environment so that's what sustainability is and that's where they kind of differ apparently according to sources that i've gathered quite recently you know discussing it with professor and so on and so forth be free to disagree and comment down below what you think that the difference between corporate csr and corporate social responsibility oh sorry sustainability is or if there even is one but then moving into the examples. The examples that I found is that, well, it's all about CSR. So for instance, we read a report quite recently, not gonna disclose which company it was from, but let's just say it like this. They had this huge sustainability report where they had like their carbon dioxide emissions and their what not and what forth. And it was all good. Until it came down to how they defined what they were supposed to take care of. In my opinion, it was kind of greenwashing. Because they were saying, yeah, we're taking, we're really taking care about our carbon dioxide emission. We really like that. We really think about it and we really move in to try and make a better world, a better tomorrow for you and me. But then the question was, 
what are you actually considering to be your carbon dioxide emission? Because some companies would say, well, everything in relation to us is our carbon dioxide emission. And they def and they apparently, I've learned this quite recently, divided into the different scopes. So scope one is the internal stuff that's happening in the company. So what are we actually, what, what is us? What is the carbon dioxide emission that we provide and that we do ourselves and then scope two is like the kind of the intermediate i would say it's about debatable and then scope three is what is relating to the company but is actually in other companies internal carbon dioxide emission and then comes to the fun question of what is actually what what are you taking responsibility for as a company are you taking responsibility for your entire supply chain are you saying that well that's that's our producer's problem not ours how do you go about this? And in the sustainability report I recently read, they had about 12 different categories. And only one of these categories was a scope 1 slash 2, while the other ones were scope 3. Which basically means that this company says, hey, well, we, we have all of this carbon dioxide emission, and we're really thinking about it, and we're really, really into it, like, you know? We're, we're really trying to make a better world, a better use of this carbon dioxide emission. However, simultaneously, they're not taking responsibility for all of these carbon dioxide emission that isn't directly in connection with their own company. Now, why am I saying that this is greenwashing? Well, because the way that they marketed it, or presented it rather, in their report, was that we, and I've said this a couple of times now, but we actually think, care about carbon dioxide emission. However, we're not taking responsibility and we don't see it as our problem if the producers that we use are having a high carbon dioxide emission because there is a scope 3, they're external to us. Sure, we're working with them, but their carbon dioxide emission isn't actually our problem. Do you see what I'm getting at here? That's kind of a problem. Also, greenwashing is things like, we want to do this or this would be really good to do but then the company in reality doesn't do it and a very good re like a very good example of this is outsourcing because when a company says well our corporate mission our corporate vision is all about a green lush i don't know nutritious good lifestyle it's a good way of living and we really want to incorporate this and we really want our entire organization to be in really in contact with this concern about carbon dioxide emission and the ozone layer getting weaker and the ices are melt melting and whatever and whatnot that's happening. However, same, simultaneously they are, as I said, working with producers or working with second-hand suppliers or working with uh, yeah, outsourcing or franchising where they're kind of saying, well, yes, we really want this to be a thing that everybody should consider the environment. However, we can see that there is not a economic incentive to do so. Therefore, we have outsourced some of our more damaging or actually a strictly damaging uh, production to another supplier, to another producer, to, to someone else that is going to produce it for us, but we're still going to make an economic profit. So there comes in the problem as well. Is that greenwashing or is that just establishing a very bad sustainability? Saying that, well, as long as our company goes like does well, we, we don't really care about what our suppliers do or what the people we've outsourced our production to does with our product. Is that actually greenwashing saying, well, we're having, we want to have this vision, but we're also doing the thing we say that we shouldn't do, which is per definition, something that, yeah, that, that's true. That's greenwashing. However, is it just a way of, uh, if you look at the economic part, is it just a way of sustaining a economic viability and a competitive advantage? And if so, is this something that should be aspired to? Is this something that should be legal? Why, why not? And that's kind of a big debate between people because people are saying, well, if they're saying one thing, but they're doing another, then they're frank frank frankly lying. And they should be punished for that. Well, how are we going to punish them? Because they're basically saying what they're doing. They are saying that this is very good. Because this is the problem with most greenwashing. Most greenwashing is basically we want to do this, this would be really good if we do this, and then they're not doing it. And 
they kind of have already said that it's good, but they haven't promised the society or anything that they're actually going to do it. And one can also argue that they don't have any, what you would say, they don't have any real responsibility. It's a, it's an, it's an initiative. It's a uh, initiative from the corporation itself that it, on a voluntary basis that we want to actually help and we want to do this and maybe they say, maybe they're doing greenwashing because they want to introduce this environmental perspective while simultaneously doing something else. So is greenwashing something that we can actually like introduce a penalty to or is it not? How can we argue for it? I don't think there is a case that is like the, the mark case, the, uh, the milestone case when it comes to these problems about greenwashing, but if there is, I would be very interested in knowing about it. But yet again, we're coming back to is corporate social responsibility, in my world at least, because all of these things, saying one thing but doing another, greenwashing in a way, in my opinion, is a part of, sort of CSR. Then comes the question, is CSR actually sustainability or is it not? Should CSR be a not a different, not an opposite, a, another kind of report. Should it be a CSR report and a sustainability report? Where are they too similar to actually divide them? But in my opinion, lots of stuff that's taken up in CSR is co completely irrelevant to, to sustainability. For instance, there was this one example taken up that, yeah, we'll let, you, we'll, we'll let all of our employees bring in their pets to work. Which is, you know, it's good. It's, it's helped with a healthy relationship, it's CSR in a way, because it's helped the, the people who are working there with getting a better working environment, which in turn lets them have a better life because they feel more relaxed, they're taking care about the animals, they don't let them be home all the time. When they come back, they will be happier, which have a, will have a positive effect on their community outside work. However, does it really help anything? Does it really contribute anything to sustainability of itself? I would argue, no, it doesn't. Just because you're allowed to bring your pets to work doesn't melt, doesn't mean you help saving the planet. Uh, not that saving the planet should be the ultimate goal for all of the corporations, but we should totally work. We should definitely, I would say, work towards that direction. So CSR is it a part of sustainability or not? Is CSR greenwashing when it comes when it is presented in a sustainability report, or is CSR in the long run actually sustainability? And if so. Or all of CSR in the long run sustainability, like bring your pets to work. Does that actually help with an economic incentive? Does it help the uh, the sustainability of the economy, the sustainability of society, or the sustainability of the environment? Why? Why not? Can you argue for that? And I, hands down, it could be in the sustainability report. I just can't see why at the moment, really. So that's kind of my issue with greenwashing, issue with sustainability reports overall, and my kind of my query with the thing, my query with the thing. So, CSR or sustainability, are they the same thing? Is one of them greenwashing? Why, why not? Hope you have a nice day. Hope I introduced a kind of, not a, not shed some light on it. I hope I did that too, of course, but hope that I introduced kind of a, a, a brain teaser for you to discuss with, with your mates or in school or in class or whatever. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice one, mates.